Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Hello there and welcome. Gary, thank you so much for joining us again today. Let's get at We're it. We're answering questions. Let's show our first one from a viewer. Hey Gary, if I'm an offender bender, do I still call the police? All right, good question. The, uh, what is a fender bender, I guess, you know, so I, I would assume that means nobody thinks they were hurt and it's just about property damage. Well, yes, call the police because you need know. to get the evidence there. Believe me, mm -hmm. insurance companies have a way of finding delay, if nothing else, delay, you know, and it can, having the police come and document the wreck and what happened and who's at fault and what witnesses say will really help expedite dealing with you know, getting the property damage taken care of, even if that's the only thing. Secondly, you don't really know at the time what yeah. may develop. So, you know, you want to do it just to preserve evidence for the future in case it does become something more significant than a fender bender. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. call the police. Yeah. Yes. Very good. And we have a viewer email, Gary, on okay. this one is, what are the handicap requirements in Georgia? Are businesses legally obligated to provide handicap parking or access at all times? A good question. It came through to me. There was yeah. a little more to it when the viewer right. sent it in. I appreciate that, by the way. Send us questions. We love it. Uh, yeah. But the, 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 the issue was a local attraction here where the parking spots were there, but they were blocked. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't use them. Mm -hmm. you know, because I think what we see is most people try to comply with the law. For every 25 parking spaces, I think there has to be one handicap space. Okay. And, and the law says it has to be at the closest possible access right. point. So that's where it needs to be. Sometimes that's where people want to load or unload, you know, so they block it. And the problem is, what do you do? So you can call somebody to get help. By then, you're probably in and out or gone. So mm -hmm. it's a law that I think people com try to comply with and do a pretty good job complying with providing handicap accessible parking. But if somebody violates it or somebody parks in it who shouldn't, the remedy is kind of difficult unless yeah. there's law enforcement there to do something about it. So I don't know how you make sure it's there, but I think we do a pretty good job right. observing that to, yeah. uh, you know, particularly to allow our handicapped and aging population to have good access to things. So anyway, I, I hope she found peace with that yeah. and was able to get in and do what she wanted to do. But again, thank you for the Oh, the yes. question, we, we're here to answer questions. I don't want it to always be about what we do in my practice. You know, right. we'll answer anything that yeah. comes up. And Absolutely. I'm glad can, to be able to provide an answer sometimes. Yeah, and you can email them um, right there. You can uh, call Gary Bruce's practice if it pertains to something specific or email the questions in. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Mari. We'll see you on the very next legal break.